Thank you, Lord. Please, let's lift up our two hands to the King of Glory. Father, we want to honor you. You are our God. There is none equal to you. You are stronger than the strongest. You are higher than the highest. You are brighter than the brightest. Thank you for this house. Thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you for your choice servants. Thank you for your servant and his family. Master, we honor you. Thank you for the way you've been using them for your glory. The Lord, tonight marks the beginning of change. Tonight marks the beginning of the mighty hand of the Lord upon this nation. Tonight marks the beginning of the silences of strange altars. And the activation of the divine altar. Tonight marks the beginning of the neutralization of every satanic conspiracy. Today marks the beginning of an outpouring of a new grace. Exalt your son Jesus. Sanctify the atmosphere by the covenant of the blood. Be thou exalted forever. And let the children of the Most High shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. I would like you to turn to three people around you and tell them, My star will be brighter than yours. Well, if you believe the prophetic word spoken by you, you should give yourself and the Lord the loudest clap offering here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to bless God for the leadership of the Pentecostal Fellowship led by Bishop Ando. I deeply honor you and thank God for your life and all the great servants of God. I want to bless you, God, for your lives, bishops and senior ministers and ministers of the gospel. And I want to especially thank God for the life of Bishop Chivan for the tremendous, tremendous work um, himself, his wife, you know, to make sure that they are the vessels that heaven will use to make sure that I come in within this period to establish the counsel of the Lord. Now, when you're giving the Lord a clap offering, it's a miracle for you, so you better do it well. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, a few days ago, while I was having a meeting in Lagos, uh, in the council of the fathers in the nation, and we were discussing over some specific issues. And the land that I was coming to Benue, it was like, you know, all the senior fathers in Lagos said to me, why would you try that? You know that the security of your life is more important to us now in this country than any other thing. Why would you be going to Makodi? There is no flight to Makodi. I said, my mind is set towards that city, and I'm coming over to Makodi. I'm coming over to Makodi, um, to Benue State, to establish a statement that it doesn't matter the conspiracies. Nobody will stop the kingdom of God from advancing. And whoever, whoever they are, we are ready to confront them head on. To rescue the middle belt from the hands of the wicked one and to lift up the banner of the Lord. And I can declare to you, that the end of this oppression over the middle belt has come. And I can tell you by the power of the Holy Spirit that the Goliath is falling. Nigeria will be free from the control of these blood-sucking politicians. All right, all right. We started already. Be seated. That's why tomorrow I'm going to be addressing all church leaders 
And please, all the ministers that are here, this is a family house. And let's all, because I won't be coming this way this year. So please, as much as we can, so that we can all be able to reason together over some, some things that the Lord spoke to me about. Isaiah 43 and verse 1. Isaiah 43 and verse 1. Isaiah 43 and verse 1. Let me read. Don't fear, for I have redeemed you, and I have called you by name. You are mine. Can I hear an amen? amen. Now lift up your hand and shout it above your head. Say, I will not fear. Say it with authority, I will not fear. Because the Lord has redeemed me. I have been called by the name of the Lord. And the Lord has called me by my name. I am the Lord's property. I will not be afraid. My destiny will surely be established. I will surely establish my purpose on earth. The plan of God for my life will not be thwarted. This is the minimum I will ever be. I am going higher. I am regaining my confidence. I am regaining my authority. I don't care what anybody feels about me. I know I am a child of destiny. I am called by the name of the Lord. I will surely fulfill the mandate of God. God has called me by my name. I am not in the camp of the majority. I have been selected by God. I am carrying an oil on my life. I will surely fulfill the mandate of God. With God on my side. I am advancing into the enemy's territory. I am taking over what the devil has stolen. I have the grace of God. I am not just going to be redeemed. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I have been redeemed by the blood. I am not going to be apologetic. I know who I am in the grace of the Lord. I have been redeemed. Can I hear the loudest amen in the house? Be seated. Therefore, we got the responsibility by God to protect, to preserve, to promote what God has given to us. There is a deposit in your life that God demands you to respond to, preserve it, protect it, and promote the counsel of God. Don't be afraid. There are so much, so many voices of fear. Of what the devil is trying to do and what the devil is going to do. Whatever happens in this life, it happens to make you stronger. It happens to make you more effective. It happens so that you can occupy and conquer more territories. That's why God commands, do not fear. The phrase, do not fear, it has been used over 80 times in the Bible. Why? Because the Lord knows that the enemy uses fear to deceive, to decrease your hope and to limit your victory. That's what he uses, fear. When I was a jihadist, one of the, our strongest weapons that we use was what you call psychological warfare. Just put a fear, fear into the hearts of the people. You've gotten them. That's what the nation is going through right now. I decree that every cloud of fear, I command it to go off your life. I command it to go off your life. What has been done to Dino? Melaye is to be able to create fear. To say nobody should rise. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to face the Goliath. We will rise. We will rise. 
Come and rise up on your feet and say, We are ready. Try to cripple leaders, potential leaders, silence potential voices. Lift up your two hands to God. I'm going to be brief tonight. The Lord sent me to speak a word. Don't look at anybody. You are the instrument of redemption. God is going to pass through you. To bring redemption to your community. To bring redemption to your nation. To bring redemption to your people. Lift up your hand and say, I am the one. The Lord is about to use. To deliver my community. I refuse to fear. Can I hear the loudest? Amen. Amen. And that's why the Lord spoke through a prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 35 and verse 4. Sit down. Isaiah 35 and verse 4. Say to those with fearful hearts. Say to those. God knows how many people are afraid. Fear on every side. He knows the reality. He knows how the heart of the average Nigerian is afraid. Say to those with a fearful heart, be strong. It's not something that you're trying to go and do it in a secret place and say, I don't want to be heard and all of that. Let's just, let's just try to be very diplomatic. The season of diplomacy is over. You cannot negotiate the future of your descendants. The time of religion is over. This is the time of redemption. It's going to cost you. Let all those with fearful hearts. God knows that if you have a fearful heart, you will always lose your inheritance. Fearful heart. One of my father's spoke a word to me and said to me, you know, when I spoke with the president or number one citizen, he said, I'm sorry. He said, do you know the man you're touching? You're touching a time bomb. You better have not started it. But he said, we are trying to do it so that we can make him to keep quiet. Fear. Say to those with a fearful heart, all of you that the devil have told you, you will never fulfill your destiny. Today, that voice is cancelled. I am saying to someone here, God is going to use you to do miracles. Signs and wonders will follow you. The devil is a liar. There is an oil on your life. Stop looking at the limitations around you. Say to those with a fearful heart. In those days in 1983 when we were moving around, healing and praying over sick people, one of the things the devil would do, he would show us the case of a rotten situation and said, it cannot be healed. And I would look at him and say, silence! I had faith when I was having a Quran on my hand. Quran was not a living book. It was a dead book. I had faith on every verse of the Quran. Of a prophet that is dead. is in the grave. And now I am holding the book that is the spoken word of the creator of the heaven and the earth. The word that I speak to you they are spirit and they are life. And I'm not just talking about the words that are speaking to you. They are spirit and they are life. The one who spoke the word, he died and he conquered death. He's no longer in the grave. So if he's no longer in the grave, it means that there is no situation that will stay in the grave. And I said, therefore, you devil, get out of this body. And miracles begins to flow. Lift up your two hands. Today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, any voice that have told you that your prayers cannot be answered, that voice is silence. It's silence. It's silence. It's silence. In the name of Jesus, shout it with authority, I can do all things. Say it again with authority. I can do all things. I can do all 
Say it for the last time. I came. I came. Today God is releasing strength into your heart. Amen. We are going to move all across Bainway and take over this land. This land doesn't belong to the Fulani Hex men. This land belongs to the sons of the Most High. They've come to cripple the strength of the thief and the Idoma man. Do you know the men that rescued this country? They were the thieves and the Idomas. One of the brightest and strongest military officers in those days were the thieves. The thieves and the Idomas were known as conquerors. And suddenly the conquerors have been conquered because of fear. I am decreeing. God will give somebody an inspiration. I won't say certain things here, but I'll say it somewhere. God will give somebody an inspiration. I don't care what kind of weapons they are using. Somebody will have an inspiration. By the time you throw the stone, the stone will explode. All right, I'm speaking a language here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because the mechanism has to change. The system has to change. Uh -huh. I can, I can, I can take, I can take a bottle of water. It's water. You can arrest me for water. But when I throw this water, it has the capacity to explode. It has the capacity to deal with my enemies. Before you kill me, I must kill you. Say it to those with a fearful heart. The season of recovery has come. We can't afford to allow several lives going because we are crying out. No AK-47. No this weapon. No, you don't need it. There are other weapons to be used. If I carry a handkerchief, can you arrest me? I am carrying what? Handkerchief. But this handkerchief can become something. All right. You understand. Sit down. I will close. Tomorrow we continue. Be strong. Do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance. With divine retribution. What is he coming to do? Look at what the Bible says in that verse 4 of Isaiah 35. For he will come to save you. Amen. Salvation has come. Amen. Don't be afraid. Be strong. Be strong. Do not fear. Your God. Everybody say my God. My God. Say it again with authority. My God. my God. Say it again louder. My God. My God. They've come to challenge the God of the church. And I can tell them. 2019. They will see the proof of the God of the church. I don't care how many pastors they buy. I don't care. It has, it's, this is not the beginning. It has always happened through history. Certain men have always sold out their bad right. I don't care how many they buy over. But this is our time. It's not just because of us. But because of our descendants. Because of our sons. And because of our daughters. Because of our great grandchildren. This nation will be rescued from the hands of the marauders. If what was done was not done, you wouldn't have had the service chiefs in your land today. If the outcry by divine order had not gone forth and shook this nation to a standstill, you wouldn't have had them. They would have always used excuse. Settle with your neighbor. And now you are telling me that my neighbor were militias from Libya. So how can I settle with my neighbor? You told me to settle. That is a communal clashes. The inspector general of police came here and said it's communal clashes. Bear with one another. So I should bear with militias from Libya. Who came with the weapons of Gaddafi? I 
am decreeing and declaring over your life the season of sitting down in church and not getting to the field to possess your possession is over. This is a time that God has come to rescue you. God has come to intervene. He said, fear not, be strong. For the Lord your God is coming with vengeance. Sir, he's not coming. He's not coming to smile. We smile. He's not coming to say, hello, Mr. President. How are you, sir? Uh, what is the matter going on? Your God has watched it. He has seen the innocent being slain. He has seen lives being wasted. He said, I'm coming down. I am the Lord your God. I'm coming to intervene. Do you know the death of one man is the death of a forest? The survival of one man is the survival of a nation. For any man to construct road for you, it's not doing you favor. It is the mandate you give to him. Suppose somebody come around and said, I am giving you water. And then you stand and be shaking your body dancing. You don't know your citizenship right. He's not helping you. He's only doing what you ask him to go and do. That's why when the governor or president is going, you will see thousands of police and soldiers guarding him. They are actually telling you that is the way every citizen should be protected. You touch the governor, you are touching a whole state. You touch the president, you are touching a whole nation. It is the representation of the ordinary people. <laughs> Lift up your two hands to God. This the ballet you are doing to ordinary people you place there. That's why some people can go to the Asu Villa and say, we are the pastors from the north. We will expose. Come and expose now. Because of 10 million. You, do you know the glory you carry? Do you know what you carry inside you? What you carry inside you is more than a trillion. Lift up your two hands. Close your eyes. I want to see every man and woman pray strong prayer in two minutes. Say, Father! Father, Father arise over my case. Judge my enemies. Lift your voice and pray. my case. Lord, arise over my situation. Lord, arise over my family. Arise in your vengeance. Arise in your anger. You have one minute more. Pray. Pray. It is the prayer of the people that attract the presence of the Lord. The God of vengeance, the God of vengeance, the God of vengeance, the God of vengeance. Take over Benue, take over the Middle Belt, take over Nigeria, the God of vengeance. The God of vengeance. Whoever is targeting my family, targeting my life, Lord, answer them by your fire. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Let me close standing, everyone standing. That's why you must have a change in your mind. You must not think the same way you were thinking a few weeks ago. The games have changed. Church must change the way we think. We must change the way we think. That's why this is not a time for, for in-house fighting. It would be stupid of a father to be fighting with his wife or the wife fighting with the husband when the family is facing war. If 
it is not because of anybody else, a father and a mother will lay and pay the price because of their seeds. You, you establish peace in the home, not just because of you, but because you want your children to enjoy home. You want your children to be coming back home and enjoy the atmosphere. Not the atmosphere of contention. In every relationship, there is always one person that paid them extreme price. Don't ever be deceived that it is two people that make home. No, it's never. One person pays maximum. It's either the man or the woman. Somebody will always bear the pain so that there can be more peace. The church, you must come to that point. Because if everybody is going to stand on his right, we're not going to go anywhere. If you want to see mistakes and weaknesses, open your eyes wide. Just as you open your eyes wide and look at the dress I wear, by the time you keep focusing on the dress I wear, you will see the mistake of the tailor. So stop looking at this dress. Look at my face. The dream and the vision that we have. And then your eyes will go up the mistakes and look more of the strength. The God of heaven has come. I am praying for you. Because God wants to bring redemption upon your lives. As young people, don't think that your young people are here to waste away. With a fearful heart, it's time to rise up for the things that are right. It's not a time for you to be fucking around politicians to get some cobble cobble. How long would your glory be demeaned? How long God is bringing you to the time when you should know that in every family of ten, there is always one child that pays the maximum price. If you think that your family members will all sit down and agree together and there will be no conflict, everybody will sit down together and say, we agree oh, somebody pays the price. Out of ten, one. One will be the stupid. One will pay the pay. One will take the pay and be quiet and be silent. No matter how you want to know, that one will never disclose it. He will want to heal the family. Others will be very angry. Others will be very reactive. But that one will still be cooling everybody. Because the glory of a, of a family, how beautiful it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the oil that flows. Today, the game and the sound of game has changed. That's why everyone that is standing here, family, husband and wives, you must learn to honor one another. Woman, you must learn to follow and refuse to allow distraction because you've just got to enjoy your life. Your children should be coming home and be lying on the laps. When I hear pastors' children cannot even talk to their father, sit down together and chat. When I hear pastors children can sit down with their mother and smile and laugh. I was told yesterday by one of my daughters, is one of the most leading leaders in this country. God sent me to their family to intervene. And the daughter, a grown up, a grandmother was sharing with me and said her mother was sitting in the car when the protocol were going to move. And the youngest son was running to join his mother. The security aides of the mother refused her son, her son, to sit down with her. They carried the son and the police officer and jammed them in front. I couldn't just understand it. You mean a prince couldn't sit down with a queen? The son, the police officers took the son and said, sit down with another police officer in front, two people in front. And mama is free. Her own son. In protocol, it's not right for any other person to sit with you. Yes, but this is your son. Error. Lift up your two hands. I'm speaking over someone here. To 
today every crack in your home I command that crack to be amended now I decree every broken wall I command that broken wall to be here you see, refuse to hear people who come around and tell you by revelation your husband is a demonic and your wife is a demonic tell you your wife she is she's she's an agent of darkness pastor they can appear in a dream in her face or in his face you will see a dream but it's not your husband and they will tell you that to create fear so that you can begin to pray father kill my wife Father, kill my husband. Just because of fear. Today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, anything that has been brought into your life by the enemy, I flush them out in the name of Jesus. We will rescue our land. We will rescue our nation. Now put up your two hands to heaven and let's pray. Tomorrow's, I'm not going to be here by 6 o'clock. This is a very, very important and crucial moment. It doesn't matter what the weather says. It's a blessing. Amen. Reach out to every Christian, wherever they will stand, inside, outside, wherever, let them stand. Because God is about to capture one person out of the many that will come here. Because the Lord is about to use you as a thunderbolt to strike through the enemy's camp. You are moving over Benway State. This land will not be left to the hands of men that are senseless. God is raising an army for himself. Raise your two hands, every eyes closed. You're going to pray two prayers. Say, Father, I sanctify my life. I present my body. As a living sacrifice. Use it for your glory. Clap your hands and pray this prayer. Lord, I give you my life. Lord, I give you my soul. Lord, I give you my being. Lord, I surrender my life. Father, that you will use it for your glory. My God and my Father. Lord, Lord, I know that there is a responsibility that you place on our lives. And God Almighty, this work cannot be done. Father, God Almighty, until you find the right vessel. Father, I surrender. Ikata yata. Surrender my soul. Surrender my life to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I would like everybody to bow down on your knees and pray this. When things happen, God is trying to correct us. The Lord is about to step in. But let's pray this prayer. Lord, I repent of my irresponsibility, of my pride. I repent of the seeds of discourse I have planted. Please have mercy on me. I humble myself before you. Beginning with myself. My family. And the church. I repent before you. Forgive me of my selfishness. Of my pride. Have mercy on me. Dear Holy Spirit. Let's take the next one minute and bring repentance. Genuine repentance before the Lord.
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Forgive us precious Lord. Forgive us Father. We humble ourselves before you. Each time the land boils. Father God Almighty is because of the transgression of the righteous. We ask for your mercy Lord. We ask for your mercy, Lord. We ask for your mercy, Lord. Forgive us of our immoral lives. Forgive us of our greed. Forgive us of our selfishness. Forgive us, O oh God, for in our irresponsibility. Lord, have mercy on us. We bring repentance over the sins of our fathers, our brothers, and our sisters, Lord. Forgive our land. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon our leaders, Lord. We bring repentance before you. Oh Lord, forgive us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We humble ourselves. We know that any time the land is crying out, the land is vomiting its inhabitants, the land is throwing out, is because of the transgression of your people. Father God, your will is for us to enjoy the land you've given us. But when the land is sick, it tells us, Lord, of our iniquities and transgressions. We come before you in all humility. We know we can't help ourselves, but you will need to help us. Humanly speaking, Lord, human capabilities are failed. But Lord, we rely on your own capacity. Forgive us and have mercy on us. We ask the blood of the Lamb to clean the atmosphere. By everyone, both the old and the young in church, we plead with you to have mercy on us. Oh Lord, we bow down before you. We cannot challenge you but we come in humility. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on your people. Have mercy, Lord. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Father, we know the error of the children of Israel of what was meant to be 70 years went into 2,400 years. It was scattered around the world. Jesus, in your time, you cried out, O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem. What I can see of your future is not something to smile. And Lord, you wept. It took them over 2,000 years to realize what you were talking about. And Father, from that moment, they chose to rise. They chose to put their acts together. And that was how you saved the nation called Israel today. We come before you. We lay down our pride at your feet. Come cleanse us by your blood. Purify every family. Purify every relationship. Purify every home. Lord, let Christ be glorified. And let Christ be exalted in this nation and this land again. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for cleansing us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I would like you to rise and hold the hand of one person. We'll pray the last prayer. Just hold the two hands together. You're holding the hand of Bainway people. Say, Father. I stand on behalf of your child. Every area of his or her life. Father, that needs divine intervention. My God and my Father, come and intervene. Arise, Father. Come and help your child. In the name of Jesus, ministerially, socially, Politically, 
come and help your child. Go ahead and pray for, for that brother, that sister. Help your child, Lord. Lord, help your daughter. Lord, help him, help her. Help your child. What no man can do, you can do. What nobody can do, you can do, Lord. Lord, walk a miracle in this life. Kiraba shaka laba roshe kerebo shanda labra koriandara. Walk a miracle in this woman. Walk a miracle in this man. Lord, we want to see the finger of the Lord over Penue people. Arise in your might. Arise in your might. Arise in your might. Lord, come and answer us by vengeance. Lord, come and answer. Oh, shakarabo 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 Father, step into this family. Father, fix the things that need to be fixed. Father, put together things that need to be put together. Oh God, arise in your power. Lord, arise in your mind. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now lift up your two hands to heaven just by yourself. Thank you, Lord. Do you believe that there is a divine intervention already? Over your life? Over the person you prayed for? Thank you, Father. Lift up those two hands. Don't bring that hand in the next two minutes. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. If you are not, just pray with the understanding. Lord, I surrender myself. Take over my life. Do what no man can do. Lord, this season, be gracious to me. Be gracious to me. Be gracious to me. Be gracious to my family. Be gracious, Father. Lord, arise and intervene. Yada baba baba de 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 bosha kala brege de ne re bosa ta ya la brodo do rege de ge la bosha nga la brega ra bosha nga le brego ra ba ra ge de ga ra ga de indoros ke le brego ra ba shanga la brego ra ba ra ba re de re andoro bo ra ga de ge bo Yes, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You have one more minute. You have one more minute. Jesus, my 
rising up with praise.